The tuning exam begins. Jiraiya versus Tsunade. If you don't know, we started the tuning exams for debating, and we've had some interesting topics and some great matchups. Today's combatants are Nerd King versus Run Me Cloud. Their socials will be in the description down below. This is a new video style, so let me know if there's any way that I can improve. And if you want to join the exams, go ahead and join the Discord and subscribe for upcoming events. But enough chit chat. Enjoy the video. Let's start with uh, let's start with strength. All right, so we're gonna start with strength. So, uh, you wanna go? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So we are debating, uh, just for the recording, we're debating uh, Tsunade versus Jiraiya, parts one and two. So we're going to start with strength. Uh, I will say, Jiraiya is not entirely noticeable when it comes to strength outside of Sage Mode. However, with Sage Mode, he has a considerable amount of strength. He was capable of throwing around summons, such as the giant rhino that Pain summoned, like it was nothing almost took out an entire pain with one single kick and he's capable of tanking damage that should be absolutely lethal such as uh his throat his windpipe literally being crushed and he fought for five more minutes after that and then got stabbed to death with chakra rods and he was still when he should have died instantaneously able to power through that and do one last action that ultimately saved the Hidden Leaf Village. And there isn't a lot I can talk about for strength for uh, for uh, Jiraiya, so I can concede my argument, but that's the points that I've made so far. Okay, okay, cool. So, um... Uh, for Sonate, uh I believe she's far stronger than uh, Jirobo, and you're, you're familiar with Jirobo, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we know uh, he was able to throw a large boulder. Um, he's done shit like uh, he also has the Kura's CS1. And he's also knocked a giant Choji in the air before. And, you know, with Tsunade being uh, far stronger than him, she also has the uh, Bayakugo. And I'm going to show you the skin here. Um, sending. This will make her far stronger than she was in her base. Yep. No rule four. It, uh, it goes over all the rules right there. And then, uh, obviously, in the war, she will be uh, stronger than she was before. So I think uh, that's where like her strength would consistently be at to be okay. more confident and dry. Okay, so I believe one of the most powerful feats that she has is being able to destroy Madara's Susano. Am I right? Um, yeah. Yeah, she was able to crack well, that thing. Oh, yeah, with the, with the, um, with the, what's it called? 100 healings? Yeah, that shit, yeah. All right. And, uh, was that perfect Susano, or was that just one of the iterations beforehand? Um. I'm trying to remember. Hmm. Hold on. No, I wasn't perfect, Sana. So, 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 no. Okay. So overall, well, I guess if you wanted to use that as a feat, we would have to figure out what it's tanked and see if it's capable of taking a Sage Mode punch or even a big ball Ross and Shuriken, or sorry, Rasengan from uh, Jiraiya. What is the uh, what is the Susano tanked in that iteration that Madara used? All right, give me a second. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, these scans loading right now. All right, my bad. I'm back. Hello? I'm here. So. Oh, I really apologize. This shit taking a while to load. What, are you posting it in the chat? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All 
Alright, so right here. Right for the derby part for the Susana. It's what it's just saying right now. Alright. It was able to withstand a direct punch from the the fourth Rikage without any visible damage. And uh also this other one here. It. Yeah, that's all. That's all? Uh, okay, hold up. I realized I forgot to tell Karma something. Karma, if I show the, actually what the, when they put the scans, show the, edit this part of the video. When they show the scans, actually put that up. I don't know if you did that or not. Like, download the scans and shit that they're sending. And oh, also, yeah. I'll run them the list. I got okay. it. Okay, and then do the fucking, like, take notes and shit of when they're talking about each scan. And then get the all fucking right. rules. All right. I mean, pretty much, um, whatever he's talking about, it'll show, and I'll just put the correlating picture he said. Got it, and show the rules before the video. Okay, edit this part out. All right, bet. We good to go? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, the su cracking the Susano is a very impressive feat, and I acknowledge that. Uh, what I would say to bring attention back to Jiraiya is that during... I believe it's early uh, Naruto, back when uh, Itachi and Kisame first invaded the village. To give you some perspectives on how everyone thinks, uh, Itachi stated that even if he had backup, he doesn't believe that he would be able to beat Jiraiya. And at that time, uh, Jir he didn't even know that Jiraiya had Sage Mode, and... At that time, Itachi also had the same version of Susano that is being shown in that feat right now with Madara. So, I'm what I'm what I'm trying to say is, even outside of Sage Mode, Itachi believed that Jiraiya was fully capable of destroying his own Susano, and he said he he may only be able to tie it using backup helping him and I can post that panel right now here we go it's dropping All right, let me see. so there could be a little bit of a gap between Madara and uh, Itachi's so Susano sorry what's Madara that and, uh, Itachi Susano sorry say that one more time I say you, uh, you said it would be a gap between uh, the two Susanos? There could be. It it was never oh. confirmed in the story, but there right. could be a gap. M maybe small, I'm not sure. But even still, a Susano is a Susano, and it does have a base durability. And even an, an excelled Uta Uchiha, like Itachi, didn't believe he could beat a base Jiraiya using his Susano. Probably would have changed the time. It was greatly finally shiny at the Raven Shop. Wait, uh, yeah, how are you the strongest zero out of Alright, I just finished reading it. Um Alright, so touching. Um So this is what's the what's what's the Tazi this again? This uh Part two, Itachi. Okay, I think this is part one. This should be part one. Just after Itachi and Kasame invaded the village and tried to kidnap Naruto. Oh yeah, you're right. Cause it's the the ramen shop and shit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um. All right. So then, I don't know. Try to compare this to Madara Susano. I don't think this thing would be uh, that much viable to actually get like to have to get a better understanding of the Susano's multiplier. We could let's say uh, we know that uh, Itachi is a superior to Rochimaru. Uh, are you familiar with that? Yes. Yes, and you know on top of that we could just say his Mangeku and uh, he'll be even higher with his Susano. 
and this alive and this is a uh, before introduction this ain't even part one yet so that will already make him uh like superior to uh, his six self so i know but there isn't it doesn't really get him like it doesn't consistently get him on moderate level like whatsoever he could he was able to like withstand uh cs2 sasuke just like certain feats certain durability feats and then just, like throwing the susan on top of it would be like the most consistent you could get it but we actually could see viable and resourceful things from Madara and the shit he's done, you know. I do know I what you're saying, think, yeah. I also think it's a it would be. I also think it's a pretty big gap between those two. Do you have? I know. Uh, do you have any like manga statements that show that uh, Madara's Susanoo would be far more durable than Itachi's? Because that's the um, that would be the ultimate outcome. Because I admit, Madara is far more skilled than Itachi, and he would be the more powerful combatant. But if we're going to compare strength for Tsunade and Jiraiya, then the durability of each Susana would matter. Um, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I don't. I don't think there's like a statement for that. Okay. Like, even if I was to look for one. Okay. Um. So going off of that, I would say that I believe that Jiraiya and Tsunade would be very relative. However, it seems like uh, Tsunade needs the hundred healings, which gives her a massive amp in yeah, I strength. Agree. I believe she would need that in yeah. order to uh, be higher than uh, Jiraiya. And it does seem that Itachi himself is stating that a base Jiraiya would need uh, would would be able to at least injure or kill Itachi, and he didn't even know about Sage Mode, which is a ten times amp. So this could put Jiraiya above Tsunade, even with the hundred healings, unless you have any uh, contradictory evidence. What can you say that again? I said. Uh, in this very panel that I'm showing you, in this part of the story, uh, Itachi did not know about uh, the Sage Mode that Jiraiya has. And Sage Mode gives Jiraiya a 10 times amp. So he's talking about a base Jiraiya is, is very capable of nearly killing him, even if he has backup. More backup than Kisame, because he states more backup right here. So... Unless you have any statements that show that the feats between the hundred healings punch that broke the Susano and base Jiraiya breaking a Susano is viable, then uh, it could very it could be stated that Jiraiya with his amp for Sage Mode would be stronger than the hundred healings. Um, yeah, I don't try to use a Tachi statement, so I'm going to say I think. Actually, I don't think I. Hold on. One second. But yeah, as you were saying, but um. So. So is this with Sage Mode or without Sage Mode? So at the panel that I'm showing, I'm saying Itachi did not know about Sage Mode oh, because yeah, this is early Shippuden. Yeah, yeah, so okay. he's stating that a base Jiraiya could potentially kill him, even if he had backup more than Kisame. So if he has this 10 times amp Sage Mode, it would just, it would be an absolute stomp against Itachi. And that could potentially mean that he would be stronger than 100 Healings Jutsu Tsunade. Okay. But when, no, I don't think so. Because when we do see him actually use Sage Mode, um, in his pain fight, uh, he's able to contend with pain. Uh, you're familiar with that, right? Of course. Yeah. So, um, so we could at least say he should be comparable to, he should be comparable to, um, Sage Mode Naruto and Sage Mode Naruto. Uh, he's able to, like you said, like way earlier, uh, you know, throw pains of uh, giant rhinos. Um, I'm actually gonna send the skins because for oh, yeah. uh, for certain purposes. Uh, 
sent it right now. And, and I can help you with that too, because I got a panel as well. Yeah, it's already sending. Don't trip. But um There you go. Yeah, we have that. And um what's happening? What's it called? Six Tails? Uh he uh was able to overpower pain's uh Shira Tensei. And then we could say like later on he gets like stronger before, but he doesn't get he doesn't reach another tear in my opinion until he uh he has Biju mode. So that alone would make the understanding of where uh Jirai's uh stage mode multiplier would actually make him comparable to or would actually scale him to likely wise. Which wouldn't would inherently make him um more strong than Sonati with Sonati having these feats on uh the uh the rib cage of Madara's uh Susano. Okay. Well I w I'm gonna send that's a perfect idea. I think that's the perfect idea where he would be at. I will uh send one more thing real quick just because you got Naruto's panel, but uh to clear up some air, there is a statement in Naruto that states that Jiraiya did not have perfect sage mode and the difference between perfect sage mode and normal sage mode was like astronomical. So normally I believe uh Naruto would have been way stronger than Jiraiya, but I have a feat that shows something actually a little bit more impressive than what Naruto showed. Uh what's his face? Jiraiya punched the dog summon. Either either it's the dog or the bull summon. And he threw that thing straight through one of the walls of the rain village. Hold on, I can't post anything. So I'm just uh, posting this now to show that Jiraiya actually used more strength than Sage Mode Naruto did in this feat, and yet he wasn't as strong as Sage Mode Naruto. So that's just gonna that's just gonna solidify my claim for now. I don't know why my is it things. What skin are you looking for? I've got it right here. I was just not sending for some reason. Give it a minute. And to to contest what you're saying about uh, uh, what's his face, just uh, Jiraiya being on Pain's level, there is actually a statement in the manga where after the fight, where uh, Jiraiya dies, Pain states that they only won because they had a very hidden secret about the paths of pain, and if Jiraiya figured out that, uh, he was on the verge of figuring it out, but if he figured it out during that battle, he would have won. So Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with that, yeah. Yeah, so I would say that Jiraiya would be above pain, but pain has a lot of hacks, and he played them so cleverly that it, he was capable of taking out Jiraiya, as well as Jiraiya also did kind of commit suicide in the first place by going back, because he would have just survived if he didn't go back, but because he was letting himself get attacked and letting himself be damaged just to try to figure out Pain's secret, he kind of committed suicide on purpose. Okay, okay. I, um, now, is this thing posting? It's just still not posting. Uh, I could, we could excuse it. Um, I'll just, you know, if you want to say it. Yeah, yeah. Um, is it too large or? Oh no, I think it's working now. There we okay. go. So yeah, that's the feat that shows that with a punch, he was able to throw either the dog or the ox, uh, summon th straight through what was a, a metal wall. And that's be mm. that's even better than Naruto's feet. And Naruto should be astronomically stronger than Jiraiya in Sage Mode. Uh, what's to be astronomically stronger again? Naruto in Sage Mode. He's oh, gonna yeah, because yeah, he had the perfect Sage Mode, and Jiraiya did not achieve that. Okay. Um. All right. That's that's. That's pretty good. Um, I agree with you on a little bit. Okay. This probably might be one of the last things I say, but uh, I'm going to send this scan right here.
Let's see. Yeah, uh, it's basically saying in this scan. It is in? Yeah, it's in. So she's basically saying in this scan, uh, she wants broad dry, like, near death, uh, breaking six of his ribs, uh, both his arms, and uh, rupturing several of his organs. And, yeah. And um, uh, and I agree with that statement, so, but I, I believe he is talking about when they were kids as well. And not only did Jiraiya not have Sage Mode at that time, so he would be considerably weaker than Tsunade, but also, I believe, yeah, you can you can fact check me on this, but I believe Jiraiya stated mm -hmm. that he doesn't fight women like he does fight men, like he doesn't intentionally injure women. So he wouldn't have been fighting back against Tsunade. And, uh, like, it could be also stated to be a joke, because they, uh, we have all those jokes about women beating up on men in Naruto, but overall, I think that statement could be too far in the past to be relevant now. Oh, no, I'm, that's, that's what I was trying to get to. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, one second. I would think, I would think that and her being physically uh, stronger than the fourth Rikage would make them somewhat relative. But I feel like we would actually outclass in like the these the strength category. Uh one second. Getting this thing. Yeah. That's one. Let me see these. Is it sending? Yep. All right. Um, Looks like I got it. Yeah. Uh, so again with the Bakugo, uh, she can damage Mars with snow and could have blurry most of Mars torso with a single blow. Uh, and we have uh, we should have understanding that Mara ribs should be over dry, and even when she's nearly out of chakra. She was able to deflect Mara's katong with her bare hands, but she didn't do this without uh, suffering some burns. And I feel like the reason why she even suffered burns in the first place was lack of, lack of chakra. You need and you need chakra to actually control the um, the one thousand healing jutsu, and we can see that it's fading away from her forehead, etc. So I feel like that should level out, make it obvious she's quite stronger than Drya. Um, forgive me for saying, but I don't exactly see how this could make him stronger than, or make her stronger than Jiraiya, if he's in sage mode at least. Oh, Maybe in base she would definitely be stronger, but uh, if they're both in a uh, hundred healings and sage mode, I believe that Jiraiya would be able to do all of those same things as well. I I don't hold on. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. Cause so let me get my reason. Let me get these other scans for you. All right. It's a lot of fucking scans. One second. Alright, I'm setting them right now. Alright, uh, did you... Did you get them? Yep, okay. How many did you send here? Okay, let me look through all these. Oh, hold on. So, uh, as you're, uh, as you're using, uh, with Sage Mode, we see him in Sage Mode, obviously, so... Um, yeah, from base, I believe he would be uh, far stronger than before. Um, but he can, we see he can physically harm pain, and uh, he's sending him flying with his strikes. Uh, he even caused him some injuries, and some injuries compared to, again, moderate, like in any kind of way, shouldn't even be comparable. Uh, moderate seemed more durable. And if you uh, want me to show you that, I could for you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, give me a second. Um, yeah, 
let me find some for you. And as I said uh, earlier with with um, Itachi when he was talking about uh, his durability, how uh, the Susano would add to the uh, his already level uh, or his uh, previous durability, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, let me just throw that in the air now. I'm gonna go get these uh, this this scan for you. We see so we see uh um let me get another one it's one more so we see Madara uh he's able to withstand a direct punch from the fourth Kage. Uh, he's isn't uh, we see didn't sustain any visible damage. He's also able to withstand uh, Sage Monato's Odama or Sin uh with Hashirona, knowing that they did not take him down at all. And to get a better understanding of where uh, the Rikagi's strength would come from, let's say, uh, you know the Anoki enhancement. The sorry, what? Do you know uh? the uh, Inoki enhancement with uh, the Rikage. Oh, yes, I do know about that. Oh, let me get that for you. Yeah, it comes from that... Um, tell us his name. I can't, I can't get his name right now. Yeah, I can't get his name right now. Um... Yeah, but yeah, with that enhancement, and even without that, uh, with his V1, he's able to overpower uh, KCM Naruto, and KCM Naruto is more durable than uh, Sage Mode, uh, Jiraiya, him maybe being able to damage him, uh, V2 will make him stronger, and then him damaging or trying to damage Madara and Madara taking no visible damage or. Uh, withstanding giving Sage Monato was Odama Rasen Shuriken to vastly put him above Jiraiya durability wise Ray Kage is able to damage him and Tsunade is also able okay. to actual damage to Madara okay was but uh mostly what we were talking about is Madara's Suso uh, Susano durability not mm -hmm. his not his own durability Exactly. So when he throws their ability on top of that, his Susana will be more durable than his actual self. Meaning, Tsunade should be vastly more stronger than Jiraiya. Can you compare that to Itachi's uh, Susano, though? Because it was. What do you mean? Because we were going on about how base Itachi was speculated to be able to defeat Itachi. Uh, yeah, base Jiraiya was speculated to defeat Itachi when. Itachi knows he has a Susano. So if he, if base Itachi is is potentially stronger, sorry, if base Jiraiya is potentially stronger than Itachi, then it's very viable that he would be able to go up against Madara just like Tsunade did. So their strength should be either equal or because of the, because as I said Itachi only knew about his base form because of the 10 times amp, he should be stronger. Let's actually look at, um, let's actually take a, let's take an actual look at, I'm going to use, to reference this, I'm going to use a second Itachi, so we could, this all can make more sense. Yeah, Let's okay. So, um, hold on. So you know about um remember when uh a second Itachi uh went against Sasuke, right? Yep. Um, let's show you. I'm just in the scans, you know, for reasons. Uh 
Yeah, of course, I'm recording all these. He, hold on. This is just after yeah, he used Karin. Uh, hold on. I forgot to send this other scam. I apologize. Uh, look at this one first for me. Hold on. All right, look at that. Then look at the the other two that I sent, so it could be in order. But um, uh, he's able to partially withstand uh CS two Sasuke's Katon, and he's only suffering minor burns. Then we know he will be his durability would be far higher with the Susano, and we see the skeletal Susano stage allow Itachi to survive. Uh, Kieran, uh, virtually unharmed and. Sasuke at this time uh, coming out of uh, CM2 let's say as like mountain class uh, strength um, and then later on CM2 he was trained got stronger there's a whole time skip he's clashing with Itachi then we'll put it on island but when I take it so I actually get an understanding of Itachi's Susano him thinking like what you said him thinking even with Susano, Jirai would still overpower him and he would need help, outside help. Then this only put Jirai at um, like island class levels of strength, mostly. And then when we go back to uh, Tsunade, with the Baku, I already sent the scans. You know, she's damaging moderate Susano. She's obliterating his torso. One blow as well, if you want to go look back at that. Um, and then again, on top of this, she's nearly out of chakra, out of chakra. We could likely say she would be higher than this if she actually had chakra in the encounter. She was able to deflect Madara's Katon, and Madara's Katon was obviously far stronger than Sasuke's control at that time. And then she did this with her bare hands, and again, she's suffering burns. I explained why she would be suffering burns. This would be about large country levels of strength. Do you got, the do you got like a scales for that? So I can look over the math? Uh, what do you mean? Like uh, how you get in these feats saying country level and island level and such. Do you got math for that? Yeah, I do. Alright, great. <clears throat> uh, I already sent the... Hold on. Artist at the um the what's it called the the Rikage feats right yeah yeah okay uh, we're just gonna take us about the Rikage let me get these scans well do you have the math that tells you how that's country level because I got all the scans here yeah I'm getting the getting it right now. Should be sending right now. But yeah, I was giving like uh, instances to give like a more understanding, like a power difference. I don't have like exact math for it, but we see or Kage, he's a uh, punchy through Mars humanoid suits. I know. He's also bringing his ribs and again, sending it flying. I just really believe it's either, the only thing, I, I think the only way they would be relative in strength at all um, is off the pain, the pain stuff and her not having uh, the Bayakuga at all. 
because she's physically stronger than the fourth Rikage. Okay. So, I th- we have gone over all our points, right? Yeah, I don't have any more. Yeah, I don't have no more yeah. points. I don't think we were able to fully convince each other uh, for this round, but what? Do we go to the judge and ask them uh, where we go from here? Like, where's JoJo yeah. at? Yo, JoJo. Yeah, so so y'all were still on strength, right? Yeah, we're just finishing up that now. We we made all our points, and you heard that all, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was a... Yeah, it was a very back-and-forth uh, debate about the strength of Jiraiya and Tsunade. Uh, from what I gather, though, is that Hold on, give me a yes. moment. Because I'm not going to be listening for like a cool two minutes. Let me get give me a second. Mm. All right. What's he doing? He said he's going to do something know. for like two minutes. <clears throat> yeah, well, I might as well continue. All right. My uh, opinion. Yeah, continue. On what it was. Uh, so, so, from what I gather is, is that uh, Nerd King, on your part, uh, you even kind of admit, admitted that Jiraiya's showings of, of raw strength were kind of like, you know, like it, it was very narrow, narrow on your part because, you know, you admitted it to that and uh, Tsunade has a little bit more to show. Um, I will say that that your scaling off of Itachi is really good but I don't necessarily see how all uh, Susanos at base are relative to one another especially since we're seeing uh, an EMS of Susano on Madara's part and and the Rakage um, you know attacking that ribcage and breaking through it because, I mean, I don't want to give any opinions on, you know, you know, on the scaling of, like, the Susano uh, durabilities or anything like that. But I do, but, but I do think uh, Clout had a little bit more going for him. Okay. Uh, real quick, just to ask the judge, mm-hmm. uh, was Itachi using the Mangekyo Sharingan as opposed to the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan that Madara used? Yeah, yeah, I think I, I think this is what's really, uh, yeah, I think that's what y'all two missed, honestly. Okay. But none, none, but like none, 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 none of you have really thrown that out on the table, so that's not really. Okay. So I, I can't, I can't really, I can't really. Wait, make that don't want out the, the mangeka. No, like I'm not throwing it out. I'm saying that that like I can't really make that call because none, none oh. of you have brought up the fact that it was an eternal mangeka sharingan. Like that's just my personal opinion. Yeah. But oh, you know, I, I didn't. Yeah. Know that. So we should have. Yeah. Is yeah, Cold still here? Oh no, Cold left. Yeah. Yeah. So like basically, it's very like it's very very fucking close. But like I'm gonna have to give the edge to Clout because he had a little bit more to work with. Okay. And, and yeah, and like and like you basically had to go off of purely statements. And I think you could have like scaled a little bit better on Jiraiya's part, but it was just know that it was extremely close in my opinion. Okay, I agree. Yeah, I, I can agree. go with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right, so Tsunade takes strength for this round. So what are we going off next? Do we want to do speed or do we want to skip to something uh, different? Um. Hey, um, hold on. Is Chip here? I think he left. Uh, no, I'm here. I was talking. Uh, yeah, I do oh. think. Oh, yeah, I, just can't, I can't see your ass. Speed yeah, of I, dur- durability. I can't fucking see you. <laughs> I told you I agree right. with Jason's learning. Yeah. yeah, um, so. So, yeah. I, I want to leave it up to, uh, next? to the judges what we should do next. Yeah. Yeah, so it's. It, I, I, think, I think you guys. I think Klaus said he wanted to make hacks optional. Right? Yeah, yeah, and all I right, got some so good yeah, ones. So, all right, so yeah, so um, speed, durability. I believe you guys wanted to do, and then hacks. If either of you want to do it, okay. 
I think we cut. No. No, no, never mind. We didn't go over directly. We was going over other yeah. characters directly. Pretty much, yeah. Right, yeah. So, um, so, do you want to um, go over durability next? Speed? Speed. I think you guys should go over durability. durability before speed. Okay. All right, sir. Yeah, durability then. All right. Since that would be easier since you just did your Well, when it comes to uh, durability, Tsunade actually has a very mixed bag because she's almost always using healing jutsus. So it's hard to quantify her durability, but because Jiraiya does not have... Uh, any healing jutsus his durability is on full display in the uh, first part of Naruto he took a dynamic entry kick straight from Might Guy right to the face and he barely reacted and that is a very powerful base technique from Guy uh, he was able to uh, he was unharmed from Pain's Ox when it was summoned that was in base not even Sage Mode uh, he's capable of taking all kinds of damage, such as his arm being severed. He's able to uh, have his throat collapsed and still able to fight. He could be stabbed through the shoulder and can still contest one of the pains. And he was able to basically restart his heart for a short period of time after he was stabbed all throughout his body by the chakra receivers in order to write a dying message. So, overall, he has a lot of good durability feats, and he does get messed up a lot, but he's capable of powering through that without any healing jutsus and uh, fighting on. Yeah. Uh, not to, like, throw off track, like, at all, but damn, the, um, the throat collapse shit, that, that sounds painful. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> That shit does sound painful, but um, yeah, uh, I get you. I feel you on that part. Um, yeah, for the um, the what's that, my guy? Yeah, uh, he was off guarded, I believe. I remember. Yeah, uh, and he got that kick. Yeah, that was that's a pretty good third belly feet. Um, didn't even show any blood either. He didn't. Oh, damn. Yeah, I can post yeah, that right now. He didn't show any blood. I think there was a little bit of snot though. Let me see. Yeah, right here. It's a bit of a scuffed image, but this should work. Yeah, took it straight to the face. Was blown backwards a little bit, but he was perfectly fine. Oh, wait, is it posting? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I accidentally posted that in account wait, no. plugs. Hold on. You put, in, you put in account plugs. My bad, I had that open. It's not good. Uh, there. Right. Yeah, he's perfectly fine. Yeah, I think he's got some yeah. snot. Yeah, I don't think it's not really matter, so you don't really gotta point it out. Um, yeah. Just put okay, my cool. points out there. Uh, is that what? Is there any other durability uh, feats you put out there? Or yeah, besides this one, I don't remember. Uh, we got for Sage Mode. He was capable of taking a charge from the Ox, took it straight on, and he was unharmed. He had his arm severed. He was stabbed in the shoulder. His throat collapsed. He was pierced all oh, throughout yeah, his already... body, and right, he was right. capable of restarting his heart. Okay, yeah. Alright, cool. Um, alright for us, uh, Nadi. Uh, you were saying something about uh because of her healing factors, it's hard to uh give like a baseline understanding of like where her dirty blue would be at, right? Yeah, because for just about six of these feats that I gave, that was all stacked on top of each other while uh, Jiraiya was fighting pain, but we've never really seen Tsunade stack pain on top of each other. She always okay. just heals it quickly. Alright, let me find a few things. Give me a um, Yeah, give me one second. All right. Um. Yeah. So, um, what I gotta say about that is, I mean, you do have to uh show uh, some sort of tolerance to the actual damage that's being dealt to you to actually react and uh, understand. You have to heal yourself. Uh, we do. We should know that. I feel like we're both familiar 
with uh this inverse topic so yeah. uh, we see that she couldn't withstand like grueling and like life or injuries uh, such as uh swords uh pledging like straight through her torso um getting cut in half uh getting cut in half without like su- uh, succumbing to like a uh, pain or like losing the ability to fight uh and also she has easily endured like being stabbed like straight to the chest i will show that for you real fast yep Let me send that right now. All right, check that out. Yeah, as I was saying, yeah, uh, this is in part one here. The under being stabbed straight to the chest by Rochimaro. Uh, then she also got repeatedly slashed. I'm sure that as well. Now, the real question I want to ask you is: Did she? Yeah. Did she endure? multiple of these wounds that you're giving me here without healing yeah i'm sending it right now okay great yes yeah, yeah i'm sending it right now yeah because I, I knew you were talking about that that's why i'm not sending like any healing stuff you know yeah limiting yeah, your I'm options here <laughs> yeah trying to give me yeah but yeah look at that check All that right, out what we got yeah uh, she's yeah as i was saying uh she's getting repeatedly slashed uh by uh rosemary blade as well so I could say without healing, she uh, shows and displays immense pain tolerance. Okay. And I think getting slashed, uh, all the other shit I said, is like worse than getting kicked in the nose. Yeah, I mean, sure. But don't forget yeah. in part two, he was capable of taking many, many stabs and, straight through his body and many slashes ac- all across his body, as well as getting his arm ripped off, and he was still fighting afterwards. He did say something about that. All right, let me get this real fast. One second. It's like blurry and I'm trying to get a clear one for you. All right. It's too fucking blurry. Hold on. My bad, hold on. My list is just coming. Give me give me one second. All right. Um, if you hear any like background noise, I, I really apologize. That's fine. Yeah. But um. Yeah. Uh. For somebody. Uh. What did you say previously? What part are you looking for? You said something about. Oh, never mind. Yeah, slashing and stuff. Yeah, he was stabbed multiple times by chakra rods, which was what ultimately yeah. killed him. But he was also mm-hmm. still powering through it to write the final message. Okay. Okay, alright. Yeah, so I understand we both have points on them sustaining uh, immense pain. Um, okay. Is there anything else you want to say for for uh, his uh, durability? No, nah, that one's a lot shorter for an argument, so that's all I got. All right, um, I have one more thing to show. Okay. Yeah. So I want to go back to the Boyakugo thing. <clears throat> uh, I also believe she's comparable to her striking strength. Could be, but there are a lot of glass cannons in Naruto. Mm, yeah. Yeah, because you say that. I mean, if you use Sasuke uh-huh. for an example, he was killed by a sword, and he's definitely above sword level. Mm. Alright, so I'm, I'll try to. I sent these before. I'm just trying to make this consistent so we don't have those, uh, those, like, those gaps or holes inside this argument. Let me. 
All right, I'm resetting these two scans. We've uh, I've already went over it, so I shouldn't have to say too much about it. So I would think should be comparable to our striking strength via these feats right here. And then now I'm gonna like go into our durability and why I think so. Let me get these scans real fast. Sorry, I just talked to my little sister. But um, uh, did you get those? Looks like I did. Yep. All right. Um. Okay. Um. So again, uh, have I said uh, earlier? Uh, deflecting moderate and stuff, Katom stuff, all that. Um. Yes. I've already went over that. Uh. So for a strong set being compared to her durability, she's able to actually uh withstand Mara's Yasaka no Magatama without uh, suffering any like major damage at all <clears throat> which I think is a pretty impressive uh, thing for durability okay but it is with uh, this thousand healings which is constant regeneration yeah but being able I think withstanding it I think like as you said he doesn't have the same uh, healing uh, capability that she does yes in the actual versus fight, her being able to withstand that, and then the previous thing that showed, like her being slashed, etc., it would be very difficult to actually on uh, to actually hurt and completely uh, leave her vulnerable, in like the in like the pain field. Even though I'm trying to say, yeah. Well, the reason I'm trying to avoid all the healing was is because that would be considered yeah. hacks. So mm -hmm. we could we could talk about that in the next round if you want, but. Overall, if she didn't have her thousand healings at all, do you think she would out dura? How do you say this? Like, out endure, uh, Jiraiya in sage mode. Wait, say that again. Like, if because thousand healings is a hacks because it's regeneration, would mm. uh would Tsunade without this thousand healings be able to out endure? To dry out with sage mode. Um, I think so because off of what I uh, showed you, it's like she's showing the property of uh, guaranteeing her ability to survive a certain amount of force, and I don't want to confuse this with like stamina or like endurance, but we she's seen withstanding the damage. Well, I'm just well, saying. You know, I'm not saying, saying you're using stamina. Stamina would be like uh, the uh, endurance. Like, yeah, yeah. It would be that type of measurement. Not so meaning to go into that really all that much. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to say like viable. if you, if they were taking this and seeing how long they could in, like survive these until they died, it seems like Jiraiya can do can take a lot more than Tsunade because Tsunade needs the thousand healing jutsus just to stay alive. That's my argument. Okay. Well. Well, logically, uh, as I showed for the striking strength thing, uh, what she's capable of physically achieving on a certain degree of uh, actual output, uh, she's all, I'm also showing her being able to withstand that same comparable amount of damage. Uh, if she was able to, her body would break apart or strain uh, something automatic, something uh, that would exert any type of immense pain. So my argument is whatever she gets hit with, she's going to be able to withstand it regardless. Okay. 
So then we can turn to JoJo then, I guess. JoJo, where you at? That's all I got to say. Uh, yeah, I'm here. All right. I listened the whole time. I guess we so, kind of mixed uh, uh, durability with endurance there a little bit, so I guess we yeah. covered two topics. Yeah, so... Um, so the premise... So let me get this straight. The premise of Nerd King's dry durability scaling is that he withstood a lot of punishment toward the end of his life. Am I correct? Yes. And some of the punishments that he endured without any healing jutsus were more uh, drastic than any uh, d- damage that Tsunade took whenever she didn't use her healing jutsus. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I pretty much got the full rundown of Clout's um, uh, our, uh, of his argument, because from what I understand, uh, it, yeah, like, you're right, it, it was more along the lines of endurance than durability. Because the thing about Tsunade's showings is, is that in order for her to show the fact that she can heal through the damage that she's receiving, her durability has to kind of be on the low side. Yeah, that's what I was trying to yeah. They no. both do yeah. kind of have low durability, like human durability. Yeah, yeah but the yeah, but the thing that really... Because, like, the fact of the matter is that, Nurkin, you came out swinging. Like, you really did. Like okay. the fucking bell rang and you just and you just flew through and haymakers. Okay. Um, but Clout really did hold his ground, especially toward the end. Um he really he really did have that um AP equals durability argument in his back pocket just in case things went south and he really used that well. Uh again, another uh, again, this is another close round. Um I I can't make heads or tails on this though, to be honest. Do we need a second judge like what Hokage jump in? Um, no, we have uh, a is here. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. What do you think? Okay. I think that this round is also a tie because it's kind of hard to decide to not his durability since she does have regeneration, but I do like how you use the AP equals durability in your back pocket. Okay. And uh, I do like the uh, durability feast you displayed also. I like how you argue with them well. But yeah, I think it's a tie on this. Yeah. See the yeah, cause like the thing about it was on the last round, um, yeah, Clout had a lot more to scale off of, especially on the Jerobo bit. But here, here, Nerd Nerd King really sold on the fact that Jirai had no healing, and he still went for all that. And even and like, what really saved Clout was the AP equal durability thing. So yeah, this is a tie in my opinion too. Okay. Yeah. So I don't yeah, really had, know. Yeah, like had it, yeah, like had it not been for that, I just want to keep this in. Like had it not been for that, I honestly would have probably threw it in Nerd King's favor. Okay. Like I'm just gonna just say that. But yeah. So I don't really know uh, if we want to go for speed next, but I do really want to talk about hacks because I have plenty to talk about for Jiraiya. Okay, so if both parties don't have anything for speed, we can go on the hacks, or unless you two think that they equal. Do not speed. want to do speed at all, or. Do you rather go to the hacks first? Is which, what do you say? Club, do you have um, any speed scaling first or not? Um, yeah, I do. You want to do uh, speed first then? All right, as long, as long as you feel like you have scaling that you want to get out there, then we could do it. Yeah, sure. Are you down, yeah. Uh, Nurkin? Yeah, I'll just make mine right, uh, quick so you can go first. All right. All right. Um, <clears throat> all right, cool. Speed. Hate this category. <laughs> um, I feel like probably gonna use A for this. I don't really have too much to say for his speed at all, but yeah, I'm gonna use A for this definitely. So she's able to keep up with uh, A on numerous occasions. And I'm gonna try to find scans for that just in case. Just in case. Hold on, give me a second. I would actually like to see that because I ha- I haven't seen any scans of her literally running alongside A or anything. Yeah, sure. Yeah, give me a second. Is it okay if I like send videos? 
I mean, sure. Like, is that okay, JoJo? Do we use anime stuff? As long as you feel that the anime is in a line with the manga or the material that you agree upon, I'm yeah. I'm fine with y'all. As we'll, long as you agree with it. We'll take a look. Okay. Cool. Um, just... I do think that you two don't want any filler, right? Like, just no filler? Yeah, obviously yeah, no, no filler. filler. Of course. Yeah, obviously not. Gotta have yeah. canon material. Yeah, obviously not. Yeah. Alright, so let me get this. Yeah, because I can't find like no actual like scans like with them two like next to each other, so Okay. Because I do know that Tsunade has some perception it issues because he she gives points of view that aren't a hundred percent correct. Such as I believe when it comes to like even the data book statement about how fast A is, that was written based off of what Tsunade said, and Tsunade said that A was just as fast as Minato, but we saw directly in the manga that when A first fought Minato, he was using his full speed, and Minato was able to blink away and then blink back faster than A could even turn his head. So that perspective mm -hmm. would be wrong, and it would show that Tsunade doesn't have the perception speed to differentiate Minato and A, so that's a point we definitely got well, to make. To yeah, okay, cool. So, uh, you could probably like, just scan through that video. You don't gotta watch the whole thing, of course. But, um... So, what are we specifically looking for in this video? Yeah, you got a time marker. Oh yeah, I should get one, huh? Because I can play a little bit of the video right here on stream. My bad, I made myself. My, I was talking to my sister again. Sorry. No worries. All right. Um, let me give it time. Just like Go to, uh, like six, like, like six thirty-two. Uh, uh, did you hear me? Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. switch this up real quick and play this part of the video. No sound on the video or anything. He's able to keep up with him uh, hitting the rib cage is what I'm trying to refer to. Okay, yeah. I see what you're saying there. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. And I want to go over Rikage a little bit. Um... I don't think, like, I'm not one of those dudes who think he's, like, like, faster than lighter and no type of shit, but, um, he's able to, like, keep up with, uh, KCM Naruto, and I think KCM Naruto would be faster than Jiraiya, and his Lariat, I uh, believe, was stated to be, like, almost as fast as light, but that's not, like, really viable, so I'm guessing it's just, uh, it's giving an assertion that like he's pretty damn fast and so now he's able to keep up with him as well so that's really all i have to say for the speed thing now i agree with some of the stuff you said such as uh kcm1 being faster than jiraiya that's obviously true i don't exactly agree with tsunade being as fast as the right kage because you can even see in some of the clips that you had for the video that uh after I didn't say she was like as fast. Yeah. But I did say like she can keep up. I'm not sure if she's know. even relative in a sense, simply because uh Madara was standing there and he just let her hit his Susano because he I believe that's the time when he was flexing on them all and he was trying to demoralize their spirits. So he let him uh he let her hit the Susano, not believing that it would crack in the slightest. And you could even see in the video after it cracks and he's blown away, he's still faster than her and capable of blowing a fireball jutsu straight at her. And she's she doesn't have any time to be able to react. 
and I believe in the further on in that same clip, it was only the Susano that protected Madara from uh, a the fourth Raikage because the fourth Raikage was way faster than him, and there is also just no showcases of Su uh, Tsunade running alongside A or nothing to show that they're the same speed, not even being able to keep up much in battle. And as I said earlier, she even uh, clearly does not have the same perception to be able to see the differences between uh, the fourth Raikage and Minato. So she also was not able to see the differences between the fourth Raikage and uh, Naruto at all either. So she should have far wait, are lower... You, wait, are you saying she doesn't have the senses to, what, keep up? Yeah, so your perception speed should be far faster than your own combat speed and such. So if her own perception speed is so much lower that she can't differentiate the difference between Naruto and KCM-1 and A when he's in his second flying Raijin form, then... Uh, she should be just far slower than either of them, and to the point where she can't perceive the differences. And on top of that, for my points, with uh, Jiraiya, when he went into Sage Mode, he was he was struggling for the most part against Pain when he was in base, but then instantly when he got into Sage Mode, he was putting them on the ropes. He was far faster, far stronger. We don't need to get into strength, though, but he... Practically, he wouldn't have even been damaged if it wasn't for him using that Genjutsu that would have f finished off the pains if one of them didn't jump him from behind while he was meditating. So overall, the speed seems a bit more favorable for Jiraiya because we have an actual quantification for how much faster he would be because we know that Sage Mode is a 10 times amp. So if he is so much faster than Pain, he could be higher than Tsunade as well, because Tsunade is not on the level of people like A or Madara. Okay. Um, okay. I don't want to force it, but I'm going to try to okay. uh, get the counter-argument. But um, So we know uh, Tsunade is the... She's known for her speed. She has a large chakra pool and a life force uh, being have Uzumaki and Senju so let's say she, we see her fighting with Madara and A she's consistently shown to take damage from a Jutsu or an attack before actually reacting to it she's the type of fighter who if she can't dodge it she's going to take it then she's going to try to counter it she is seen to survive almost any of those attacks and damage is dealt to her? My oh, bad. Uh, it cut out. I'm sorry. But, uh, can you hear me? Sorry, no, we were... I can hear My bad. Oh, it cut yeah. out. Sorry. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. All right, sorry, yeah. Um, yeah, as I was saying, she was tapped to counter, and I was shown uh, different scans of her taking damage and then giving an attack back. So um, what I'm trying to say is she's the counter type of fighter, so she's not, so she's still able to seem to keep up with A and moderate. As long as um, she can survive the damage and recover quickly, using her 100 healing juice, that's, uh, that's all I have to say, though. All right, so should we pass this over to the judge then? Because I think yeah. we made all our points. All right, so JoJo, what do you think? Oh, and Cold's back too. Uh, uh, wow. So this one is a bit contestable. I, it it very much is because there. I mean, as much as of our argument that there was, that I can't really say I agree with. It all really depends on who contested what. So, like, because like, my pin really doesn't really mean shit. 
unless I make the verdict. Uh, so, I mean, clout saving fro for the counter argument, I guess, is to like really define Shinade's fighting type. Yep. But that just, but that just kind of just give. Like, like, like that just kind of just gives credence to Nerd King's argument or or counter argument in the first place of that you know she really wasn't keeping up with him. Like you really didn't convince me that that she was able to like really like you know catch someone by surprise based off the clip that you showed me. You know, like even with the clip that you showed me, like uh, the Red Kage and with Onoki on his back came at a completely different angle. You know, like the Rakage kind of took the opportunity to, like, you know, get the drop on Moderator. So, like, I'm not really, you know, convinced that she was, you know, keeping up with him. Uh, so, uh, what do you think, Chuck? Yeah, me neither. I don't really think that she, I was convinced that she was um keeping up with with them. Nor did I. Um, I do agree <laughs> with Mary King's counter army argument also and i do yeah, like how Cloud tried to contend that but i don't really see it contending it really well yeah it was yeah it was a nice try but i mean it it, it defines her fighting style but at that point it was just yeah again it just kind of just gave credence to Nurkin's king's argument so you know the, i i uh believe their king has the point on this okay uh, right. so so which kind of what well, I guess that means that you know both characters don't really have a speed scaling to go off on on for like both both of you I guess yeah yeah but I, I mean at least Jiraiya has a bit more in the way of like numbers because at least we know he has a ten times amp and he can be way faster than Pain okay so I guess Jiraiya takes speed. Yeah, so we can do do that. Right. Just give me uh, two seconds real quick. Nah. Mm. Nah, um, nah. Nah, I do understand there's some points I could have said, but there's no point in saying it now, so I'm fine. All right, here we go. So then, All right, uh, so we got yeah, speed so, down. Uh, yeah, so I take speed, I guess. Yeah. So do you want to do hacks now? Um... Do you want to? I do. I do. I definitely do because I have plenty of hacks to talk about. You've been excited like since we started. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a win. <laughs> I have a win condition that I will go over, but I have to go over the hacks first. Oh boy! All right, let's go with this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, right, do you start? do you want to start since I started the first two rounds? Well, um, yellow going over hacks now. All right. Yeah, and you've got I'll start the last few, so I think you should go now. I mean, okay, that's fine. So when it comes to hacks, I'm going to incorporate both base Jiraiya and Sage Mode Jiraiya together just to not uh, yeah, that's make fine. it too long or anything. But Jiraiya has an absolute metric ton of different jutsus that he can use that incorporate both stealth, danger, or sorry, he was stated to be uh, a master of information gathering and torture and he shows that throughout all of these jutsus that he uses that are all frog based to list some off for uh an attack he's got the fire release toad oil flame bullet which allows him to fire massive fireballs that will stick to people and burn them alive i believe this also melted rock as well he has the hiding in a toad technique, which allows him to literally hide in the stomach of a toad, which is very helpful for stealth missions, or just getting away from a battle. He's got the frog transformation jutsu, which can literally turn people into frogs. The toad oil bullet, which allows him to basically uh, stick chakra to people, so that he can... Uh, and it can't be washed away with water, so it makes you practically unable to stand he's got a he's got all kinds of special barriers and one of my favorite is a jutsu he only used once which is the toad silhouette technique where he can change his outer appearance and uh oh wait no not this one uh 
Yeah, yeah, okay. So the toad uh, silhouette technique changes his appearance, but the toad shop technique uh, changes the appearance of a building or a structure, and it's secretly a toad, so he can lure people into certain areas and then secretly trap them in the stomach of a toad, which is automatically going to become his battleground. Obviously, he has Sage Mode, which is Nature Energy, that allows him to not only amplify the power and the size of his Jutsus, but it gives him access to a Genjutsu when he uses Ma and Pa. Uh, he's got the Ultra Big Ball Rasengan, which is an, a massively sized Rasengan. He can turn his hair hard as iron and also stretch it to the point where he can capture someone. Obviously, he's got uh, advanced strength and such, but he also, the Toad Confrontation Chant will instantaneously stun somebody and put them in a Genjutsu that will uh, trap them and allow Jiraiya to just stab them in the heart when they're undefended. Now, the one thing that I want to go over is a very special thing, and it actually comes from Jiraiya's very first showing in the anime, or manga, whichever. And that is the fact that he is capable of seeing seals for the very first time, piecing together what they look like, and he's capable of using something that is called... I got it right here. The five-part unseal in order to disperse any seal that he touches... And that right there is my win condition. I want to say that because Jiraiya is so capable of a fighter and he is capable of uh, piecing together what his opponent is like during the very first encounter to the point where he almost beats them, someone like Pain, and the fact that Tsunade is one of his closest friends so he knows what she can do, then Jiraiya should be able to trick her and land a five-part unseal on her, dispersing the hundred healings jutsu and leaving her vulnerable. And I can post the five-part unseal right here. Let's see... These are both of them. This, uh, these two panels that I'm posting are the very first time that Jirai has ever seen the seal that locked Kurama inside of Naruto. He was able to not only piece together what it was made of based off of the, the sign weavings, but he was also able to unlock it on the very first time that he's seen it. So he would absolutely be able to, because it's a seal in the first place, he would be able to disperse the 100 healings jutsu and leave uh, get rid of what is Tsunade's best hacks, which is regeneration. So that's my argument. Oh, alright. So you done? Yeah. Alright, so um, based on what you're saying, he's more of a... He uses his abilities or powers, I'll say, uh... In a sneaky or stealthy manner, are you trying to give out? Yeah, in order absolutely. For it to actually, land attacks on somebody. Yeah, he can fight straightforward a little bit, but very likely, if he wants to beat her, he would use some trickery as well to try to either subdue her for a temporary period of time or just straight up uh, put her in again jutsu, and he could get rid of her most powerful technique, which is her seal. Alright, I get you. Alright, uh, it's my turn? Yep, go ahead. Alright, so, uh, I like what you said. I think, uh, you made a good point on how, uh, he's capable of, uh, beating Tsunade. And, uh, I commend you for that. I'm gonna send this game right here. Okay. Before I actually, uh, before I actually start, uh, going over her, uh, powers or abilities. Um... 
Tsunade or Shimaro and Jirai are actually stated to be uh, capable of defeating each other. And as you said, uh, they've grown up together. He should know her abilities. So I'm just going to use the same uh, analogy that you used. He should also know her abilities. Okay. Uh, you get me? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to send this right here. Now, my one question to that is, does uh, Tsunade have anything that can disperse Sage Mode? Because if Jiraiya disperses her regeneration, what does she have to re-even the odds? Oh, I'll get into that. Don't, don't worry about that. Okay. Yeah, but uh, anyways... Uh, is it sending? Yep. Alright, give him a second. Oh yeah, my bad. Give him a second. My sister again. Alright, sorry, I'm back. Hello? Yep. Yeah, um... So I think she has uh, enhanced or great senses, and she's a very uh, informational or uh, uh, she uses information for analytic. Out of uh, how I say this, for analytic help, she can detect someone's uh, erratic heartbeats uh, and accurately diagnose their physical condition within a mere glance from a few meters, from even a few meters away. And as you were saying, um how he could trick her or go invisible or something in any type of ways i feel like she'll be able to detect them anyways and i'm going to show more i'm going to show more for that one second let's get these scans for you Send it right now. Are right, you get it? Oh yeah. Okay, you got a couple here. All right. So, uh, I'll try to say she has great enhanced senses. Uh, she's an information analytic, and uh, she has analytic prediction. She. Uh, she taught and trained Saga to master her evasion techniques and these evasion techniques uh, which allowed her to gradually read someone's attack patterns and start dodging accordingly even from blind spots uh, and on top of this not herself uh, she's showed her mastery of this technique during her fight with let's say like Kabuto when she uh, actually dodges underground sneak attacks so I don't think any sort of sneak attacks would effectively work on her she's able to uh, read her opponent, understand her opponent's attack patterns, uh, dodge accordingly, uh, and even understand blind spots on top of her knowing and going up and watching drive fight all her life. Um, so, and also, uh, some, something else I want to go over. Let me get this one scan. Sending. Oh, there we go. So I think um, definitely smarter. She could manipulate her chakra better, and she's a very skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Uh, you know, she needs she know be decades of experience, and she seems she's casually disarmed and outskilled Naruto. But I just want to use that for the casual part. She's able to contend with like masterful combatants such as Kabuto already showed. Uh, she can contend with Orochimaru, and she's, you know, I've even showed before, she's able to contend with Maru Chia for extended period of time. Okay. She, so I would say... 
on top of everything I said, she's way better skill wise, understanding wise. Uh, she can understand the situation better. Just et cetera, all of the above. Okay. And then to but, finish this. Sorry, were you still talking? Um. Uh, do you want to say something? Yeah, I just want to ask a question. Uh, I can agree with all of this, but how would this skill of hers help her avoid Ma and Pa's Genjutsu? Uh, explain it again. Ma and Pa's Genjutsu? How will she avoid that? Because if she's put under that, she should be stationary, and that just gives the Jiraiya the win, practically. Uh, can you explain the, um, the, the Paul thing? One more time. Sorry, uh, what are you asking me to explain? Oh, to, uh, this, uh, technique you're talking about? Oh, okay, you want to know about Ma and Pa's, yeah. uh, technique? I will go a little bit further, and I will just, uh, pull up what it says, so that I can read you everything lore accurate. Yeah. Okay. The so demonic nice. illusion. Oh, Sorry, what was that? None. I mean, none. Oh, okay. Just, uh, so it's called the demonic illusion toad confrontation chant, and it's a chant that Ma and Pa, the two toads that help to gather uh, nature energy for Jiraiya to stay in sage mode, that they release, and it will gather up anybody that hears this specific song into a genjutsu where you're stuck in basically what's a glass chamber surrounded by four toed samurais their mind and body are completely sealed in between their hands in a in a cube of water and that gives jiraiya full access to either just stab them and kill them, which is what he tries to do with pain, or, for my argument, he would just walk right up and disperse uh, the seal, the th a thousand healings seal. So how would she... Uh, what she could, what could she do to contest the Genjutsu? So you're saying this... This technique could. Hold on. Can you explain that last part one more time for me? Basically, the seal, the genjutsu is going to leave her entirely vulnerable because she will stand there in a state of uh, unconsciousness, in a sense. So Jiraiya will just walk up and unseal her thousand seals. Okay. Um. Her one thousand seals. So you're saying it's for one thousand seals? Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So she I has... have to use that. I'm gonna show you this. Okay. So you're saying this would paralyze her, like yep. make her stand still. It paralyzes her entirely, and she's unconscious while she's doing it because it's a genjutsu. So she wouldn't be just like paralyzed and trying to fight it. She just is not fighting it when she's in the genjutsu. I believe the only way that the pains were able to get their friends out was by some of the pains attacking Jiraiya outside of the Genjutsu. Okay. okay. Honest. Yeah. I don't think she has any. Well, can you show me a character of this being a move that she would or that he would immediately use in a battle? Yeah, I can try to find some of the panels, but. Um, As you're saying, Ma and this Pop, would be the first thing he does. Well, yeah. It's one of those even if it wasn't the that he would actually do. even if it wasn't the first thing he does then 
during the pain battle, because, Law and uh, Sir, he's seen trying other things. Yeah, and that will give Tsunade more leeway to understand what to do with him. And that's fine. Um, mm. He can't use it immediately. I will tell you that. I believe during the pain battle, Ma and Paws immediately started to charge it up, but it took time for it to build up and. Pain, I mean, uh, Jiraiya had to fight Pain for a short period of time, but what I'm saying is, uh, using his trickery, like his many different toad techniques, he could stay away from her, he could be on the edge, he could fight her a little bit, all that jazz, and, uh, sure, she could piece together what he's doing, but after this toad genjutsu is charged up, he's going to release it, and if she has nothing to... Uh, combat it then he, she's going to be entirely paralyzed and he's just going to walk up and unseal her thousand ceilings but as I will add one final thing on top of that just to cement my point even if he's not able to get the genjutsu off and even if he cannot fight her straight forward she has a very severe time limit and I will actually post some stuff I want to talk about here she has a very severe time limit where even if she is beating him, if she if he at least outlasts her time limit for the thousand ceilings, then she's left vulnerable. Because which uh, panel did you use when you showed me that? It was uh, the one with Tsunade against Madara. I gotta look through this real quick. Uh, the loss. Yeah, yeah, when they lost. Uh, I'll pull it up on the screen. Oh, I'll just least. send it again if you want me to. Yeah, go ahead. She states that she's actually out of chakra and they at least still won or something. Oh, that, that, man. Uh -oh. Yeah, the 100 healings is worn off because she ran out of chakra. And I'm going to post something right here. During the first time that she shows this jutsu, right here, oops. She actually states right in the middle. Wait, don't, I don't mean to interrupt, but are you posting the scans on the debate channel? Or? Yes. Okay. They're, okay. they're all right here in the group chat. And uh, you can see, uh, what is her name? Uh, her assistant. She states that she can only actually use regeneration a certain amount of times because... Every time that she uses regeneration, her cells multiply, and they can only multiply a certain amount of time before she just straight up cannot regenerate anymore, and she dies. So she has even a... Li not only does she have a chakra limitation, but she has a limitation to how many times she can regenerate. So with, with some of the techniques that Sage Mode... Jiraiya can employ, such as the oil bullets. There was one that was like an oil wave. The uh, the strength that he has, the speed that he has, his big ball Rasen, uh, Rasengan, even the Genjutsu. Mm -hmm. He could potentially overrule her regeneration, either make her run out of chakra, or make her run out of life, practically. So, there's many ways that he could overwhelm her in this fight, and I will go for the Genjutsu for now, because uh, right now you're still on that point, but there are other ways of him just outlasting her and having her just drop dead. Okay. Okay. Um, Alright, cool. So, she... So he would have to touch her. So okay, I'm just gonna show this. Not for the genjutsu, he wouldn't, because that's a sound based no, genjutsu. Not not okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand you, don't you? Um. But yeah, for that scan you showed. <laughs> the funny thing is, I want to send that earlier. Uh, I'm. I, she wouldn't have to pop the 100 immediately, according to the scan that you gave me and yourself she can stimulate her cellular division in order to regenerate organs and limbs as long as she still has enough chakra and i was going over earlier how she would uh be more analytical and give accurate predictions 
um, use her skill, um, et cetera, to understand the patterns, to read, uh, and have evasion techniques, and understand his blind spots for various attacks, various techniques, and various moves that he's going to do. So, as a smart fighter she is, she's not going to immediately pop the 100, she's going to understand her opponent, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, according to that skin you gave me, she can heal her organs and let me find something else. Give me a second. Mm-hmm. 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 And yeah. Just throw this out there. She was still alive after literally being cut in half. You know, I know this will make her mobile even if Dry was able to. Uh, cutter, but she's more durable as we went over, so I shouldn't even have to go over that. And, and yeah, other things that I've said, and also I have something even if she tries to hit her, because it's obvious she's not gonna pop that you can juice her immediately. Hold on, so uh, hold on. Give me a second. If I can find it. Yeah, I can't can't find this specific scan. But what I was going to say was, uh, if anybody could find it for me, um, she can kill people using her medical ninjutsu, and Orochimaru would have died on the spot if had he touched her chakra at all, and. Um, she's also capable of combining her chakra enhancement, uh, enhanced fists with her medical ninjutsu, uh, in a similar manner to Sakura in order to, uh, simultaneously heal the damage resulting from the punches. And she's eventually able to, hold on, let me get this again. Oh, you gotta. What does it say? I'm actually, light killing the affected cells from uh, over replication is what I'll say. Let me see. So Sakura's doing this right now, right? Seems like this is Sakura doing it because this is uh, Sakura talking. She, Tsunade is the one who taught her, so she would inherently be able to do it herself. And hold on, I'm not quite done yet. I got three more scans to say. No, I'm not sure if that statement there is viable because wasn't it stated that Sakura surpassed Tsunade? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this could be but a technique not. she created her o- on her own because I've never seen Tsunade use this technique nor speak about this technique. It's her medical ninjutsu that she uh, bestowed on Sakura. And this is going over how 
uh, can eventually uh, kill the affected cells from over replication. It's just giving what it does. Well, sure, but Socrates... the other, other scans I gave, um, she can create any detectable knockout drugs uh, that is utilized against experienced Shinobi. And she should be able to create uh, and use knockout gases like Socrates, since she's the one who uh, tired to make them in the first place. It was to be in her arsenal for this fight. So not only can he paralyze her, but she can paralyze him. Well, sure, but Sakura is more advanced than Tsunade, so Sakura okay, could have taken all of the stuff that she learned from Tsunade and advanced it to make that technique. We've never seen Tsunade use that technique before. We don't and necessarily have to. She's the one that taught her how to do it. Well, yes, but she taught her uh, many things, can, but can not specifically that. Reliable on anything showing how she would have created or meant, uh, made a sub for it in any way of her own. Sorry, say that again? Can you give me like any reason why she would make any sub for what she was taught? I mean, Tsunade has never used that before, and uh, when we know that Sakura, how about this? When did uh, when this is a light novel, correct? When did this light novel take place? I don't have the uh, the the stuff for that. Do you have the name at least? The name of the light novel? Nah. Uh, does anybody in here know, know the name of the light novel? That. Because this is, if this is, uh, what is it, Sakura Hiden, Thoughts of Love Riding Upon a Spring Breeze? Yeah, okay, so I'm looking at this right now. This is, this book takes place, uh, in the first chapter they state, the fourth Shinobi World War ended two years ago so this is after the fact that sakura fought in the th in the fourth ninja war so tsunade may have taught her everything she knows about the medical ninjutsu but because this is sakura doing it and we know from the fourth great ninja war that sakura is more advanced than tsunade this could simply be sakura's uh brand new application of medical ninjutsu that Tsunade does not know. I mean, everybody, it, it's even... I feel like it would make more sense on the Tsunade end of it. I don't think it would, because why wouldn't I Tsunade use so. this? Tsunade w should have she, absolutely used this all throughout the story. It would have helped her a ton. Yeah, you're right, but this is a collateral thing. I don't know why she would use it while fighting with comrades. This is the one-on-one -on -one fight. I feel like she would use this in her arsenal. Why wouldn't she use it against, against Madara? What is it? One -on -one. Who's talking okay, about? I don't. I don't mean to interrupt, but um, I had to go get something for my grandmother. So everything after the scan that Cloud sent that was talking about Sakura's ability, I don't know. Okay. But, are you are you back now or are you gonna leave right now? Yeah, I'm back now. Okay. Like, I just just, just, just trying to get my perspective on that. Yeah. Part. Basically, he's saying that Sakura in this light novel is capable of speeding up the healing of cells to the point where they die, like fast forwarding through their life. However, I'm t I'm stating that it was stated in the Fourth Great Ninja War that Sakura surpassed Tsunade, and this light novel takes place two years after the events of the fourth great ninja war so this could very easily be sakura's advanced version of her own medical ninjutsu and tsunade does not have this because if she did she should have used it all throughout the story and it would have greatly helped against madara but i don't see how it would like prove like anything you're saying there's nothing you could use to make that true I mean, just the fact I'm that using, she's never I'm used it is true. It's more on Tsunade's end since he's the one who taught her. So saying she surpassed Tsunade, yeah, you could say that. But in that particular <clears throat> field, you can't really make that a known. It's an unknown thing. I'm sorry, but like, th just the fact that she's it's, never it's, once shown it is, is proof enough. 
I don't I don't really think you could on my end I don't think you could really say that Tsunade has it just because Sakura has it when Sakura was stated to surpass her okay do we need a okay. judge to step in and like if he teaches it to her she may so you're telling me she could very up, well have not, not taught this one to her that's what I'm but saying I showed you, but I showed it being taught to her you didn't show this specific uh, technique being shown to be taught she's taught Sakura many things absolutely but she never once showed in the story that she that she uh, taught her this technique and she's never displayed using it only Sakura has done no, that so this could be Sakura's own again. jutsu I did yeah I've read because no, you just told me that she didn't teach her but she actually did stay here this specific jutsu is what I'm saying she didn't teach her this specific jutsu she taught her everything that she knew, but she doesn't know Sakura's specific jutsu. Okay, but Kakashi, the, the con you gotta look into the context of this whole scan here. Kakashi is saying that, actually, scratch that. We know Kakashi has grown up with both Orochimaru, Jiraiya, and Tsunade. He's saying that looks like she learned how to blend powerful sleeping powders plural errs she's used different things different technique etc from okay. lady tsunade she's these are these techniques is learnt from tsunade which would inherently it was this should be consistent enough that tsunade can do this herself just because she surpassed her does not mean she can use it herself that's actually it gives the same effect that's actually exactly what it means this is combining stuff like Sleeping powders does not equate to being able to advance your medical ninjutsu so much that you can heal to the point of speed running a cell's life. If uh, Tsunade was capable of doing this, I feel like this would be a major power up that would have been shown during the Fourth Great Ninja War. Well, and the reason I could say she probably didn't do this is due to plot reasons, story reasons. Why I don't see why they uh. They would even make her do that. It's just, it's like, but I'm saying for this one v one battle, she would inherently probably use that to to actually be him. There's no, there's no plot on top of this. Well, I'm sorry. I I do gotta say this. He, everything else you're saying is correct, but this here jutsu in the light novel, you're going off of baseless assumptions, and I, I can't don't think it's baseless. I'm not actually giving quite reasons for it the only reasons you're really giving is that Tsunade taught her but every time that I try to push and ask um, no, why I'm she wouldn't like, use something would yeah why I, why would she why not use it use ever it. if she had it that's like that would have won her 90% of the fights that she fought okay and 90% of fights were team battles so maybe she didn't use it why because you know it wouldn't work who knows but I have gave reason why she would have it and why she would be able to use it and why it wouldn't be something that Sarakura just out of nowhere just made different. Well, we can leave that up it to the judge. Any, it, it's not stated it, she's creating any new techniques and none of that, so I don't believe it, it's something different. Well, the fact that we've never once before. seen it in the story up to this point could imply that it was a brand new jutsu. I mean, it was literally never once shown in the story up well, till this light novel. I guess there's, I guess there's nothing viable then. So even with this but cell regenerate, uh, more on the Sunati and instead of Sakura, I mean, that's you're trying to argue. I don't think so, honestly. But we can leave that up to the judge. I we'll just leave it to the judge. Yeah. But overall, you have a good argument for why Sunati would be able to damage, um, to to uh, damage. Jiraiya, but how would she be able to do so when he's doing such things such as uh, putting her in the stomach of a toad to keep her away from him? Hi, uh, gave, if she I, if she retreats, well, hold on. Let me let me give some techniques that oh, he can okay, use because okay. uh, not all of it is just trickery. If she retreats for even a moment, she could get baited into. I don't know, a cave that turns out to be a toad stomach, there she gets trapped so that Jiraiya has more time. He can even go into people's shadows and stab them from behind like Megumi. 
So even if she keeps up with all of these, even still, how is she going to defeat the Genjutsu? Because well, all of the... like a blind spot. And yeah. She's, she's, she, I gave understand her. I gave, un, uh, I gave proof of her understanding blind spots. So I don't think she would get caught in any of that. She may not, but the the entire point I'm making is, even if she is getting led on the ropes, this is all buying time so that Ma and Pa can do the Genjutsu. So how would she be able to counter the Genjutsu if she is able to counter everything else that Jir Jiraiya is throwing at her, which buys him time? Like, gave a reason. Like, Not like earlier, I was going over. Uh, my bad. Hello. Yeah, earlier, I was going over um her understanding of tag patterns. So I don't see any reason why he wouldn't uh, attack her himself. I mean, him himself. Sorry. I well, you did her, but... show earlier in the thing as well that when they were kids, she broke all her uh, his bones. So. I would think that he'd want to keep away from her a little bit. He may strike out yeah, to like he could try, keep her at bay. He will, he will understand his patterns. But so can she counter all of it? That long. She may be able to understand it, and she may be able oh, to no, try to work around it, but can she counter it? I don't think so, so I think he's going to buy time. I don't, I don't think so. That's all right. How about this? Can, can she... she can't can't maintain sage mode on his own for a substantial period of time. But Ma and Pa gather uh, sage energy so that he can keep it up. And I do believe that he can keep sage mode energy then, up longer than her thousand seals. No, I, I don't. I don't think so, because she's so able to fight for hours against like the likes of Madara Uchiha. Even after like sustaining like fatal injuries such as like stabs and burn wounds, um, she can like survive complete bisection for prolonged periods of time. She's even spent years storing chakra in her 100 healing mark, etc. Like I, I don't think she's I don't think he takes stamina in any way, shape, or form. I don't no. Well, that's just one simple win condition. That's fine if you want to take and that. That's I'll fine, but I still. Reserves. But Real I still quick, her chakra reserve like our great. So she can protect, kill, and replenish the chakra reserve of the thousand. So, but I and still need an explanation as to why she can break out of the Genjutsu because the Genjutsu seems to be the one thing that she cannot counter. No matter how much she knows about it, no matter what she can do, nothing in her arsenal can counter it. So, what is stopping him from buying time, putting off the Genjutsu, and then simply taking away her greatest asset, and then winning? Um, my argument is she's not going to let that much time go by. She has more stamina and uh, all, like all the abilities I gave off. I just don't think so. Well, how can she uh, stop him from buying all that time? She can will she... understand his patterns, understand the blind spots, understand et cetera. Like, like I, the things I went over with those with that understanding, she's going to know when to attack, when not to, when to counter, et cetera. But sure, but that's all hand-to-hand -hand combat. What is she going to do when he turns her into a toad? Or throws it her into the stomach of a combat, toad? But if she has better... If he, he... If he doesn't understand... No, look, if he's giving off attacks to her that she's countering and she's... You know, etc. Understanding, she, she's going to go down. He's not going to have any time to do what you're telling me she, he's going to do. There doesn't seem to be any reason why she can counter... Uh, time buying techniques such as turning her into a toad or throwing her into the stomach of a toad or even if she just retreats for a moment to gather up more chakra to keep doing that hundred healings all of a sudden the cave she's in it's a toad she's just going to keep getting trapped how is she going to counter that because sure she can understand his attack patterns but how is she going to stop him from buying time because almost nothing that she has in her arsenal can stop herself from getting thrown into the stomach of a toad. Okay. So, hold on. I don't believe any of this you're saying is within his character. Let me just show this. I can, I can start pulling up panels right now. Hold on. I'll show you all these techniques that I'm talking about. All right, you can show me the techniques, but just hold on. Like, 
like for this he's fighting a weaker pain he's just lies I'm trying to I'm trying to make this more consistent here analytical prediction etc he's he's gonna get caught he's gonna get countered he's gonna get hurt he's he's gonna lose like it's not like he's not gonna have time to go go off of what you're trying to tell him he's gonna go off I don't think that's correct honestly because she's so straightforward that he can set traps that she can't counter her I mean, well, I I think she's not going to um. Like I said earlier, how I went over like her fighting style, he's going to be the one that he's going to have to attack her in order for her to actually do what I'm trying to say. And you're giving off him doing the same thing, so I I don't really know what else to say here. Well, yeah, it seems to be an uncounterable win technique. I don't see any reason as to why she for won't get trapped. Type versus a counter type character, I, I don't I don't know. But yeah, I get my reason. So are the two of you done? Do you want me to make a verdict? Real quick, I'm gonna post some of these techniques that I was talking about so that uh, he, he knows I have the panels. So, going off of what I was saying about some of the traps that he can lay. So right here are two panels. He can hide in the stomach of a toad. She may understand what this is, that's fine, but how is she going to counter it? In this same technique, he can also pull other people into the bodies of toads, which is how he was able to steal a, uh, a rain ninja. Right here, I've got a panel that shows that he can turn people into toads, leaving them utterly defenseless. Here is a technique where he hides in the shadow of his enemy. And right here is him disguising a building as a toad, or sorry, disguising a toad as a building. And when he's trapped the two ninjas he's looking for, they, it just turns back into a toad and shrinks down to size. So how is she going to counter any of these if, he, uh, if what she has to do is punch him? So if he knows she's gonna punch but, him, she's he's gonna set these traps. Yeah, but then again, I've also, you know, said, um, hold on. I was also said about the um, him even touching her, or when he, or when she touches him, the um, uh, what is it called? Um, the over replication, and then you're. I would try to use that and then you're saying you know it could have been Sakura's thing but I really don't think it is put off in this camera here well we have to leave that up to Jojo because she has never yeah. shown it in the story before she's um... and don't forget he can also summon Gamabuta which helps him a lot because Gamabuta's able to hop around he's faster he's bigger stronger able to keep himself away from pain so she would basically be chasing him while yeah. he's on Gamma Buddha's back. But I'm she would use, she will be able to use and call herself with it. Cause, and to make it more consistent, how it's hers, she don't even developed the one medic specialist for, for man cell system. You trying to get what I'm saying here? It's, I just, I don't, I don't know. I feel like she will understand the patterns, all these uh, techniques you gave. I don't think it's going to wouldn't be that much effective well okay but that is still all speculation but again now yeah, I just, it is. let me you just uh, as well well let me just ask you straight up I will please make this a yes or no is there any way for her to counter a straight up genjutsu no okay so that is still but, a win condition depending on whether or not she can beat Jiraiya before then but the win condition of does he have anything does he does he have resistance to uh, paralysis. Paralysis? Yes. Let me look real quick. I don't believe Pain ever used a paralysis on him. Um. But I he mean, has. He has. She would hit him with that. 
and that will also be her win condition. What is that? The lightning jutsu that she has? No, I already gave uh, like a few like the gas and shit like that. The medical stuff, yeah. Okay. Um, does that just paralyze the body? Because he could still spit toad oil bullets at her and such. So does oh. it only paralyze the body? Yeah, like what well, if he's uh? Well, he can par- die on spot touching her chakra. Well, still, we don't know if that's true or not. We're leaving that up to JoJo. But I will give one final yeah, thing. Has jutsu. Um, I, will, yeah. I will give one final Sleep thing to contest him. that medical jutsu. Uh, he has a special toad technique that I'm posting now, which it basically gives him spider sense. It, he puts up a room like Law, and he can sense everything that's in the room for greater... Uh, like uh sensing so if she tried to use jutsus while that room is up and very likely he would put it up immediately he would understand that she's trying to paralyze him and he would avoid it especially if he's riding gamabuta like in this uh panel but it's also so she has undetectable knockout drugs um she should have undetectable by the human eye and by the human senses but this is inhuman senses. This is absolute enhancement. What's going on? Oh. No. Looks like his mom came in. My apologies, hello. Yo, um, yo, I'm here. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to wrap it up. So that's fine. Yeah. Sorry. We were pretty much but, done anyway. Yeah. Can they? Can the? Um, yeah. Okay. But yeah. So I'll, I'll give a. All right. So I'll give a quick verdict then. Because, okay. Because uh, I pretty much made up my mind. Uh, gotcha. So, following the debate. Uh, um, bringing up the application that Sakura had pulled up, um, Nurking had a really good point uh, that you didn't really tend to refute. I mean, you attempted to, but it, it wasn't really convincing. Uh, and even if, I mean, like, even if you did manage to successfully, like, defend that she could apply the 100 healing technique to her Taijutsu skills, um, it you never really contested all of the hacks that uh Jirai could use effectively. You really just gave gen- you just really just gave generalizations like you know that she's a tactical fighter, she could learn le- le- his patterns. Um all I heard from from that was an echo from Derek King's perspective because he did make a point that or I think one of you made the point that they all grew up together and that they would be familiar with uh, each other's tactics. So the same could be said for Jiraiya. And you did admit that she didn't really have anything to counter the Genjutsu. And, you know, right here, he does have a barrier to, you know, detect all sorts of things. Uh, So, yeah, it's... I, I, I think this was the topic that really, you know made it clear enough to me so yeah i i i do believe nurking takes it with this
is this so for the matter, whole debate? Uh, with with this topic, uh, yeah, and I do. And since you did technically lay down the win condition, and he didn't really contest it, he practically admitted that Tsunade didn't really have anything to you know really counter it. And even if he did, because he brought up the undetectable drugs by the human eye, you did bring up the bear, bear, rear technique. So, all right. Uh, if there's yeah, if yeah, if there's anything that the second judge has to say to go against my rule ruling. Oh, not right. really. I, I can agree with you. I, um, I was ah. Oh, you, you. So you agree? Yeah, I can agree with it. I don't think that um, Sonate will have a way to really get past the Genjutsu or the Wing Con that he set up for Jiraiya okay, yeah. or yeah, the Toes. I don't think he really give a really good refusion, uh, refutation on how she can get over the Toes. Only that he knows that she knows his patterns, but I don't think that could really put that against the Toes. The Toads, but like it's like a speculation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. It just it just comes down to my mind that all I heard was that you know a boxer can learn how how you uh, shoot with a gun, but you know bobbing and waving can only do so much. So yeah, oh, well, Winter's and King. All right, well that's great then. This was a great debate though. I really enjoyed doing this, Clout, and uh, I just want to say that you're an excellent debater, and I think. This might be one of my favorite debates of all time so far. Oh no, it was it it it, it went on long because it, oh my god, because it, it was, was very good. It was yes, it was very good. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, I'm not Well yeah, I'm, <laughs> uh, yeah um, I'm not gonna lie. If you look at my bio, uh, I'm 107, and I feel good for this to be my eighth loss. Hey man, I'm honored to be the eighth like loss. You are, you are, you are amazing, bro. I'm not gonna lie, though. Thank you. You're you're amazing as well. If I was less knowledgeable about Jiraiya, I would have lost badly. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely believe that. Um, you're nerd king. I don't. I don't. Who said? Do you have any debates on YouTube? Uh yeah, I have a, one against Monkey Boy. That was one of my first when I was starting this channel up. I can link that to you. Monkey Boy, uh, who yeah. won that one? I mean, Monkey Boy and Myers. I don't really see him as that good. He it kind of just fell Pretty apart ready. because uh, I I broke apart his one argument was which was just like throwing a bunch of definitions at me, and I was stating that he didn't really make any points. And then after that, basically, um, Monkey Boy relies on circular re 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 reasoning. Yeah, and, and I'll have it too. Yeah, and they're nerking basically just kicked it aside and was like, yeah, no, that doesn't really work because it, yeah. it could also be defined as this. I think the uh, only thing that Monkey Boy really does in the base is just throw a whole bunch of fallacies at you. That is exactly yeah, what, yeah, he that's, that's what he does. And that's not how you <laughs> do a debate in the first place. Yeah, so he's, just pretty, uh, he's pretty ready overall, in my opinion. Just... Ultimately, though, the debate went nowhere because after I dismantled that claim, his friend just his friends just kind of came in and like uh, joked around in the chat and the debate fell apart. So he didn't even believe what he was saying. So, well, yeah, true. He didn't believe what he was saying, and he actually gave some pretty wrong definitions as well that I called him out on. Yeah, uh, but I don't yeah, know. Uh, the debate was, um, personally, in my opinion, I feel like you should have done a lot more for Jariah and King because, again, but before the debate, I couldn't say anything, but now I can. Okay. Um. I'm surprised you didn't scale Gamabuta off of the Nine Tails a little. Oh, well, I could have, but honestly, I didn't want to because that was like, I believe it was a transformation I, jutsu. I, I, I had something ready for that. I thought he was going to use it. Oh, that? No, I meant I meant from the past, from when he was pinning the Nine Tails, like the actual full Nine Tails. Oh. Oh, yeah. Like, during the attack on Konoha. Yeah, he, he, he pinned the Nine Tails, bro. Like, that's... So yeah, but Gum, it's a, it's about uh, Jiraiya and Tsunade, not Gamabuta and Tsunade, so no big deal so, on that. Yeah. Also, the summonings counter each other. Both all their summonings are also narratively implied to be equals. That's true. true. That's true. So yeah, they would just inherently counter each other. All right. 
So then, that was yeah, excellent. This was a good debate. And I got this yeah. all recorded too. We come out to like almost two hours. Almost two well, hours? I thought it was yeah. three. Hold I'd... up, wait. We have to look at. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna look to see if it. Uh... Not gonna lie, for like thirty minutes. Honestly, yeah, because it was such a good uh, talk. It was such a good argument. Uh, uh, and that was my very first time arguing Sonati, like against anybody. Honestly, that was my first time arguing Jiraiya. So I guess we both did extremely well. Yeah, bro. Jojo. Yeah. I'm checking uh right now to see if the times match up. Mm, I last I recall, they kind of do. But, I'm checking them right now. Yeah, you you you, you can try. Okay, um, I'll let everyone know. And they should because of what you just talked. Are you gonna um? Are you gonna post the recording? Yeah. Hey, Karma, uh, did you get the, all that? Where's he at? Oh, he might be gone. I think he might. He might. <laughs> I don't know what he might be doing, bro. All right. Well, I'm gonna end the recording here. Yeah. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We post content daily. Also, comment down below if you think Jiraiya beats Tsunade. Tell us in the Discord. Tell us right now. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Karma out.